Relatives, and I'm sitting there talking with them about my daughter and her behavior. Her, beha her behavior was. The primary entry point system has issued National Information Center statement for the following counties or areas. United States, at 3.48 p.m. on December 24, 2019, effective until 4.48 p.m. Astronomers at the National Aeronautics and Space Administration have discovered that Nibiru will not collide with Earth. However, the planet will get dangerously close to Earth, potentially causing life-threatening consequences. Due to Nibiru being nearly the same size, as Saturn, and may have a substantial amount of gravity, significant hazards may occur, such as tsunamis, earthquakes, and other dangerous events. Citizens must prepare supplies in preparation of these events. These supplies include food, water, medical supplies, and a flashlight powered by batteries. In addition, prepare for any evacuation or shelter-in-place order given by local authorities. More information will be provided once it becomes available. Stay tuned to local news stations for any new information.
So there was no one even around but just them two. Current time is 4.01 a.m. Central Standard Time. This is NOAA, Weather Radio KDO 89 St. Louis, Missouri, broadcasting on 162.550 MHz. This program originates from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in St. Louis, Missouri, and serves parts of East Central Missouri and Southwest Illinois including the St. Louis metro area and surrounding counties. Here is your National Weather Service Forecast for the St. Louis metropolitan area including the cities of St. Louis, St. Charles, Belleville, and surrounding communities today. Very cold. Partly cloudy with a 30% chance of snow in the evening. High in the lower 20s. Light wind. Tonight, mostly cloudy, then becoming mostly clear after midnight. A 20% chance of snow. Low around 10. Light wind. Friday. Mostly sunny then becoming mostly cloudy in the afternoon. High in the mid-30s. West wind around 10 miles per hour. Friday night, here is a public information statement. Although Nibiru is currently 24 hours away from passing by Earth, the planet is already feeling the effects of Nibiru's presence. Waves on coastlines around the country are steadily increasing in height with a peak height measured in Virginia Beach, Virginia at 15 feet as of 8.46 p.m. Eastern Standard Time yesterday. Small earthquakes are occurring at fault lines, most notably a 4.5 earthquake in New Madrid, Missouri, occurring at 11.32 p.m. Central Standard Time yesterday. These effects are expected to worsen as time goes on today and tomorrow. Citizens must remain on alert for any rapidly changing conditions by listening to news outlets for the latest information on the situation. Many NOAA weather radio stations, in addition to radio and television stations, may go off the air within the next two days, so citizens must have a plan already in place in case something major occurs. This is NOAA's National Weather Service All Hazards Weather Radio, KHD 37, broadcasting from Wakefield, Virginia, transmitting from Driver, Virginia on a frequency on 162.550 MHz. The following information is for Hampton Roads in northeast North Carolina, the southern part of the Chesapeake Bay, and adjacent coastal waters. Air quality forecast. The forecast Thursday for Hampton Roads is code level group. Widespread moderate to major coastal flooding expected Thursday afternoon. Widespread major coastal flooding expected Thursday evening and Friday morning. Coastal flood warning in effect from 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Thursday to 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Friday. High surf warning in effect from 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Thursday to 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Friday. High risk current risk is in effect through Friday evening. The National Weather Service in Wakefield has issued a coastal flood warning, which is in effect from 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Thursday to 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Friday. 
the coastal flood watch is no longer in effect. Locations, all beaches on the eastern seaboard of Virginia and the mid-Atlantic. Timing, wave heights are beginning to increase at this current moment. However, wave heights will be expected to be at its peak beginning at 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Friday. Impacts, all beaches in the listening area are closed until further notice. If you are currently at a beach, seek higher ground now. If you live on a coastline, plan for potential evacuation orders given by local authorities. Rip currents are also a major concern as the day goes on today and tomorrow. Swimming in the water today and tomorrow might put your life in extreme danger. Flooding will occur regardless of where you are on coastlines around the mid-Atlantic. A coastal flood warning means that flooding is occurring or imminent. Coastal residents in the warned area should be alert for rising water and take appropriate action to protect life and property. The following message is transmitted at the request of Virginia Beach Emergency Management. All beaches in the state are closed at this time due to the potential flooding caused by Niberu's passage. Anyone on beaches in Virginia at this time must leave immediately. Localized flooding is already occurring. If these orders are not followed, you may put your life at risk. Waves at this time are steadily increasing with the maximum wave height recorded at 17 feet in Wallops Island. A voluntary evacuation order has been declared for areas 5 miles or less from any beaches in the state. If you wish to evacuate, you may do so at this time. Otherwise, all residents must clear off all beaches in the state for flooding concerns. The following message is transmitted at the request of Virginia Beach Emergency Management. All beaches in the state. This is KWOC Poplar Bluff, Missouri. The current time is 7 p.m. We have some breaking news from the country of Chile. Due to Nibiru causing Earth's crust to flex, it has caused a magnitude 8.3 earthquake near the small town of Valdivia. This is the same town that a magnitude 9.5 earthquake occurred in 1960. No reports have been confirmed as of yet. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States Geological Survey. A major earthquake threat is imminent for the New Madrid Fault Line. Any persons living or are near the New Madrid Fault Line must seek refuge under a sturdy piece of furniture immediately. Take cover under stable wooden tables, or any piece of stable furniture, in case the building you are currently in collapses upon you. Stay away from any windows or objects that are made of glass. Cover your head and neck with your arms to protect yourself from potential injury or death. If you are outside, drop and cover to the nearest sturdy wall that is away from windows to protect yourself from any debris. Bend over to protect your internal organs. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation and cannot be ignored.
Expect aftershock hours or even days after the main earth split. If precautions are not taken, you may face severe injury or possibly death. Stay tuned to this station for more information on this dangerous situation. Are we back on? Ladies and gentlemen, that was not a test. An earthquake threat is certainly imminent within the next couple minutes. Oh, dear goodness. I want all non-essential staff to take shelter immediately. I will do my best to stay on as long as I can. Anyone near the New Madrid fault line must follow any earthquake procedures immediately. Whoa. Alright, um, as you can hear, the earthquake is going on right now. This is no joke. Everyone must get under something sturdy right now. Everyone must get under something sturdy right now. Oh my god, the building is coming down. Everyone in this station, get under something right now. This is a big one. Ah! The following message was transmitted at the request of the United States Geological Survey in conjunction with the Federal Emergency Management Agency. This is not a test. Any persons in California must prepare for large earthquakes immediately. Take shelter under an object that is sturdy and structurally sound, such as a table. If you do not follow these precautions, you may face severe injury or possibly death. After the earthquake occurs, prepare for any aftershock that may might as severe as the main earthquake. Stay away from any windows or objects. couple of days thanks to this the brew shit being in Florida near the coast and all it's what if what if I die to a tsunami an earthquake I've worked so hard in the last 21 years to get myself to this point and I don't know how to feel I have so much to live for but at the same time do I what even is the point I cannot get myself like this. I will survive this. But I can't stop thinking about me dying. <sighs> There's no point. It is simply futile. Just succumb to the natural forces. No! Why won't my demon stop? I can survive this. <sighs> Why won't my demon stop? I want to die!
I never met the guy. <laughs> he does exist. I do exist. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency in conjunction with the United States Geological Survey. Due to the presence of nuclear earthquakes are occurring at fault lines around the world. Any citizens near fault lines that have not had an earthquake occur in their area must prepare for one immediately. Consider packing on perishable food, water, medical supplies, a first aid kit, and a battery powered or hand cranked radio after an earthquake occurs. When an earthquake occurs, take the following precautions. Get under a table or a piece of furniture that is sturdy. Cover your head and your neck with your hands for further protection. If possible, cover all loved ones with your body to protect them. Although these earthquakes pose a major threat, the threat of tsunamis still exists. If one is spotted, seek higher ground. The most important thing to do during this event is to stay calm. It has been demonstrated that panic only makes situations worse. Stay tuned to this station for more updates on this developing situation. Jeez, what happened to the studio? Everything is destroyed. Wait! The equipment! It's still somehow... working? Wait, the life sign is still working. Are we still on the air? Wait! Brianna, is that you? Yes, it's me! I somehow made it over here! Where are you? I'm right here, by where the equipment room used to be. Nice description, Brianna. So helpful. Thanks. Glad I can be of service for someone as clumsy as you. I'm working on it. The real question is, how did you even get here? Shouldn't you be at home? I've been trapped making videos all day. Of course I had to get some fresh air. You do realize it's 25 degrees out here, right? Maybe I like the cold. You can't judge me. Yes, I can. You judge me. Wait, why is all of the equipment still working? Hang on, the better question is how is all of it still working? Wait a minute, are we on the air? That's what I'm assuming. Oh, oh dear lord. Um, uh, folks, if you're uh, still tuning into uh, KWOC 93.3 FM, Poplar Buff, Missouri, we are still on the air. We are unable to provide any news and information due to the state of our studio, but we still have cell service. Please send your pictures to our Facebook page of the damage and news that is currently going on around the uh, Poplar Buff area. Um... This is vital so that we are able to transmit updates from around the area. Uh, we are KWOC 93.3 FM, and unlike our co competitors, um, we are surprisingly still on the air. We have new information out of the St. Louis metro area. Apparently these earthquakes are a global occurrence. I figured that's what it was. Another earthquake hit California not too long ago. There are no reports of the casualties just yet, but it is assumed to be in the thousands. We will take a quick commercial break to refresh our sources to get the latest information for all the listeners within the Poplar Bluff area. We will be right back with more. Commercial break? Wait a minute. Do we even have our sponsors on right now? I'm Gary Featherston from Poplar Bluff Realty. One thing I love most about my job...
This is the National Weather Service with a message from the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center, issued at 5.50 p.m. A tsunami warning remains in effect for the coastlines of California, Oregon, and Washington. An earthquake at a magnitude 9.3 on the Richter scale occurred at 38.025262 north and minus 126.002115 west. This puts the earthquake at an estimated 125 miles off the coast of San Francisco, California. In addition, an earthquake at a magnitude 9.4 on the Richter scale occurred at 44.549269 north and minus 126.187588 west. This puts the additional earthquake at an estimated 105 miles off the coast of Newport, Oregon. The tsunami may hit at any time. Any persons on the beaches of California, Oregon, and Washington must seek higher ground immediately. Although the first wave may be substantial in height, with data suggesting that it may be 125 to 150 feet in height, it will not be the last. Expect high waves after the wave strikes the coastline to last for several hours. This is an emergency situation for all persons in the affected states. Bulletins may be issued hourly, or as conditions warrant, until the threat to the affected states have passed. To repeat, seek higher ground now. You may be killed if you are not at a point 125 feet or more above sea level. Seek higher ground now. prepare for next week's order we ordered 10,000 units that sounds good pretty cool huh they're speaking to mom in japanese and mom hears them in english absolutely we can put a plan in place A tsunami warning is in effect for the western coastline of British Columbia. This is due to a 9.3 and 9.4 earthquake occurring off the west coast of the United States. If any persons are within a 11-kilometer vicinity of the British Columbia coastline must seek higher ground immediately. A tsunami is a series of waves. The first wave may not be the largest. Do not return to the coastline of British Columbia unless it is stated otherwise by authorities. Bulletins will be given hourly, or as conditions warrant. Evacuate coastlines and low-lying areas. Seek higher ground now. Stay tuned to more information from local authorities by tuning into your local radio or TV news station. You can also keep up to date on your computer or mobile device by visiting www.emergencyinfo.bc.gov.bc.ca. Un avertissement de tsunami est en vigueur pour l'ouest littoral de la Colombie-Britannique. Cela est dû au tremblement de terre de 9,3 et 9,4 sur la côte ouest des États-Unis. Si des personnes se trouvent dans un rayon de 11 km proximité de la côte de la Colombie-Britannique doivent chercher terrain plus élevé immédiatement. Un tsunami est une série de vagues. La première vague peut ne pas être la plus grande. Ne retournez pas sur les côtes de la Colombie-Britannique sauf indication contraire des autorités. Les bulletins seront remis toutes les heures ou selon les conditions. Évacuez les côtes et les basses terres et cherchez immédiatement un terrain plus élevé. Restez à l'écoute de plus d'informations des autorités locales par le réglage dans votre station de radio ou de télévision. Vous pouvez également vous tenir au courant sur votre ordinateur ou un appareil mobile en visitant www. Point émergency info bc .gov .bc .sa.
Welcome back to KWOC after our brief break. I want to say thank you for being able to tune in to us after all that has happened tonight. We sincerely appreciate all of you listening to us, hopefully in your shelters. If you are in need of an emergency, please call 911 or the Poplar Bluff Police Department. A report has come in that there are tsunamis occurring on the west coast of North America. There are two distinct earthquakes that occurred off the shores of California and Oregon. This resulted in massive waves to be generated. There have been reports of the waves reaching over 200 feet higher than the National Weather Service's predictions. There have been no reports of casualties as of yet. However, they are expected to be in the thousands. In other news, flash flooding is occurring on every single coastline in North America. Tidal patterns are changing due to the planet's sheer amount of gravity and is examining onto Earth. Cities like New Orleans, Atlantic City, Miami, and more are actually being pounded by large tides. States being most affected by Nibiru, like California, Florida, have all declared a state of emergency. If you are anywhere in the world, it is recommended that you uh, take refuge in the most interior part of your house to keep you and your family safe. Take supplies with you to your shelter, like a radio to listen to our radio station, non-perishable food and water. Keep your children calm and collected as panic makes everything worse. We will take a quick break to get refreshed with any reports from the country, notably the state of Missouri. But uh, please keep submitting re news reports to us. Uh, these are extremely viable. And keep us informed with all new information. We will be right back. Do you see that, Michael? Is that what I think it is? Yes, sir. It is the planet everybody was talking about. It's so beautiful. Hauntingly beautiful. What do you mean, hauntingly? If that planet comes anywhere closer to our planet, we're all doomed. Our planet's a goner. It's best to observe it from afar. This reminds me of the discover. The one with Matthew McConaughey? Yep. I think it was pretty good. That was a horrible movie. What? I thought it was interesting. Too massy for me. Whatever. Feel that rumble sound? It must be the planet's gravity affecting everything in orbit. Including the International Space Station. I think we should stay put until we figure out what we can do. Okay, whatever you say. Why is the alarm going off? Are you blind? Every satellite in Earth's orbit is falling to the surface. Mr. Saunders, can you read me? This is an SOS call. Mr. Saunders, can you read me? We can't communicate to NASA. All of our communications have failed. This might be our end, Mike. No! It can't be! I have a wife and three children! I think it's best to say goodbye to our precious home. All Besides, are the Earth won't be the same Gold after this. Are you saying you're willing to die to this? If I contribute to science after my death, Gold then brown. yes. I've accepted it since the beginning. Gold brown. Goodbye, Mike. All communications no! Are down. Please don't vote! <laughs> This is an emergency action notification requested by the White House. All EAS participants will follow activation procedures in the EAS operating handbook for a national level emergency. 
The President of the United States or his representative will shortly deliver a message over the emergency alert system. This is serious. We need to get to safety. But why? We need to be as informative as we can. Brianna, I care about your life as much as I do mine. We could die if we aren't somewhere safe. But we need to save other people's lives! But how will we save them when we aren't even there to give the news? We'd be de Oh, shit! Is that an aftershock? Yeah, and it's a mighty big one, too! It's probably an even bigger one than the main earthquake! Everyone, we will stay alive as long as possible. The equipment- <laughs> This is KWOC2TV with a message transmitting over the emergency alert system. 
It has been a year and a half since the emergency alert has been transmitted over the wire in the popular bluff area. With the likes of myself and my colleagues, we have successfully tested an EES alert over the wire with this broadcast. Although it is not a required monthly test, expect a monthly test over the wire on the 26th of every month. Since the passing of Nebru occurred a year and a half ago, no TV programs have been aired over the wire. Now we will begin airing older shows and the news starting at 8.30 tonight. Since this is probably being seen by a limited amount of people, it is recommended to spread the word about our television station and stop by the Popular Bluff Technical Career Center to get your own cable box to start viewing programs and getting EES alerts. Our address is 3203 Oak Grove Road. It is located near the high school. We are also planning to collaborate with KWOC to get news airing again on our television station. There will be a news segment at 10 o'clock tonight. There may be some glitches during this journey, so we thank you for your patience as we work things out. This has been a message of the Emergency Alert System. This is going to hopefully be my last audio diary entry. Today is September 9th, 2021. I am personally doing a lot better. I'm happy that I finally sought out and received the help I needed. For the past two years, going through this journey starting my life after Nibiru's passing until a couple months ago were the truly worst moments of my life. I thought I would never recover with just being a lone ranger. Then I realized something. How am I ever going to get better if I don't try to actually take the initiative? Well, I took the initiative finally tried to branch out of most of my comfort zone and get the help that I needed. It was not easy at first, but I am the best version of myself I can be. Thank you, listener, for being able to be there for me when I needed someone to talk to. Thank you, listener, for being my best friend for two years. Thank you, listener, for being you. Thank you for letting me become the best version of myself I can. I must leave now, because I am here to move on with my life. I might release all of my audio diaries, or might hoard all of them. Who knows? That'd be all up to you, listener. I wish you luck with everything in life. Good luck, Space Cowboy. In Lincoln, it was partly cloudy. It was 78 degrees, the dew point was 51, and the relative humidity... The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. As of 2.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, most television services in the United States are now back on the air. Apparently, the only states who are not receiving television services are the states of Alaska and Hawaii. Those will be up and running within the next 48 to 72 hours. We thank you for your patience as we iron out any issues that exist while getting everything back on the air. Since Nibiru passed by Earth a little under two years ago, catastrophic destruction occurred throughout the United States, North America, and the world. Although we are still picking up the pieces to this day, we are still making tremendous progress. 
According to our estimate, everything should go back the way it was by the end of next year. Even though most things are up and running, such as television stations, internet and cellular services, we have some work to do. Please check local newspapers, radio and television stations for more information on this project. Once again, we thank you for your patience. Please stay tuned to local media outlets for more information.